Hello, hello guys. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hi Carla, great to see you. Silvia, how are you? Hi Jorge. Juan Antonio, how you doing guys? Hi Yvonne. Dalila, good evening. Ceci, good evening guys. How you doing? Is everything good? Everything okay? Para ver si, si suena la misma, ¿verdad? Hello, Miss. Thank you so much for joining. Great to see you guys. Guys, ¿cómo estuvo su día? ¿No tuvieron problemas con tráfico? Oh, está siempre desde la casa. Yvonne, are you still working from home? Yes. Wow, lucky you. That's really good. That's really, really nice. I like it. Jorge, what about you? ¿Usted también trabaja desde casa, Jorge? Do you, stay, do you work from home? Guys, alguien más tiene la, la bendición de trabajar desde <risa> Así bondad. No, teacher. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Creo que my computer is having some technical issues. Qué raro. That, that is really weird. Okay. Uh, but guys, llegaron temprano a su casa. Did you get home early? No tuvieron dificultades on the way? Yo ahorita vengo entrando. Oh, okay. Pero por el mismo tráfico, teacher, or something else? Eh, como vengo de los próceres, así que, ajá. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, lastimosamente, you know, things that happen, right, on the way, and, and me alegra mucho eh, ver los guys, and to know that you are safe, and I know, you know, a veces son cosas que we cannot, um, we will never know, right, uh, if we will be coming back home, but, but anyways. Cosas que pasen, and I'm sorry to, to hear about those things. But, well, guys, um, I'm really happy to see you. Thank you so much uh, for joining uh, today's session. Me alegra que ya están en casa también, and that you're good. Mr. Amaya, good evening. Great to see you as well. Uh, Jonathan, great to see you too. And, uh, well, guys, vamos a, a revisar un poquito eh, parte del contenido that we have. We got a lot of things to work on. And uh, let's just take a look at something here. And vamos a ir revisando today. Uh, un par de temas eh, no son, they are not exactly new. So algunos eh, ya los manejan. You kind of handle most of the topics. But vamos a ir revisando también un poquito de eh, things related to eh, buying, shopping, warranty. Vamos a revisar también eh, parte de este tema that you mentioned yesterday. Eh, los números eh, nos costaba un poquito, right? Describir de números o eh, leer números. So vamos a trabajarlos también. We're going to work on those as well. Eh, let me see what else. And uh, tenemos un par de role plays. Eh, tenemos un poquito de listening to para que podamos practicar and that it cannot be that hard. Now, yeah, very much. Eh, vamos a revisar el día de ahora un poco de can and could eh, para hablar de lo que podemos hacer, you know, para hacer preguntas también and related stuff. So, eh, guys, to get started, 
vamos a trabajar un poquito eh, con the following thing. Vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulary here, just to make sure that we understand eh, some questions, some expressions, que saben qué significan, right? in everything. But guys, antes de, de comenzar, before getting started, eh, pregunta really quick. Um, ¿Alguien trabaja en ventas? Do you work in sales? Creo que algunos recuerdo que sí mencionaron que trabajan en ventas, right? But I don't exactly remember how many. So, recuerdo que Ceci, I think it was Ceci, right? Yes, miss. Okay. ¿Alguien más trabaja en el área de ventas, guys? Do you work in sales? Yo, I am shop. Do you work in sales too, Cesar? Mm, sí, yes. Do you sell tickets? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So you sell tickets, all right. Alguien más, anybody else? Nadie más, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm asking you this because eh, este tema es bastante interesante and of course, if eh, si nos pueden aportar, you know, parte de su experiencia también, that would be really good. So that would be very, very nice. And uh, give me just a moment. Vamos a regresar un poquito de this vocabulary we have here. Give me one second and I present my screen. So hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Da -da -da. Okay, so let me show you this part, guys. Vamos a revisarlo together, right? And if you know what it is, nos van ayudando también con la definición, with the words, um, how to use them, and everything like that. So let's take a look a little bit at some of these expressions. Algunas de ellas, yo sé que no son nuevas, some are not new, pero quizás algunas sí son, es la primera vez que las vayan a ver, right? So, tenemos window shopping, on sale, outlet mall, spend money on something, a receipt, a, a wallet, get a refund, shop around, a bargain, a good deal, for sale, and on sale. Shop online, go shopping, do shopping, and a workaholic. Guys, on my screen, I want you to uh, please put a little uh, dot. Uh, pueden tomar control en mi pantalla too, you know. Pueden escribir si están en el teléfono, en el lápiz, or if you are in the computer, uh, donde dice más en mi pantalla, right? Pueden escribir donde dice annotate or note. Uh, poner un pequeño chequecito. So guys, can you please put a little check en las palabras que son nuevas para ustedes? Can you like select the words that are new? or underline the words that are new. Si ya las conocen, then we are good, no problem, pero si son nuevas, if they are new, can you please select them? Can you underline them really quick here? No new vocabulary, guys. O todas son nuevas. Wait. <laughs> Are all of them new? Yeah. La mayoría de ellas son nuevas. Are most of them new? Okay, let's do something. Díganme las que conocen. Tell me the ones that you know. And, y empezamos, you know, a discriminar las que nos faltan. So we're going to... Like that will check that. So, ¿cuál es conocen? Which of them do you recognize? Shopping. Oh, Shop. Mall. Okay. Shop online or go shopping or do shopping. Yeah. Outlet mall. Okay. Esas son las que conocen. Those are the ones you know. Yes. Okay. So, an outlet mall. Shop online también. Okay. Get, so shop Get a refund. Go okay. Shopping. Window shopping. 
window shopping. So son las que conocen. Those are the ones you know. Yes. Uh, go shopping. Okay, las de shopping creo que sí, right? We yes. shop online, go shopping, do shopping, yes. Window shopping and... Window shopping, no. Okay. What about the others? On sale? Do you know the meaning of on sale? Yes. Yes? What is on sale? Can you help us, Mr. Amaya? Es como descuento. Están en descuento. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Están en oferta, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, de hecho lo vemos like when you go shopping. So, ven el 20% off, 40% off. So, we see that. Okay. Eh, get a refund. Okay, let's take a look. Creo que las de shopping, probably you know them. So, yes, let's take a look at the first. Tenemos eh, window shopping, guys. ¿Quién se la sabe que nos ayude? What's window shopping? Vitrinear. Yes, exactly. Do you like window shopping? Yes, I love it. Yes. What do you, where do you go when you want to uh, do or go window shopping? Do you prefer to go to a shoe store or a clothes store? Or where do you go? To all the stores. To all the stores? Yes. But do you have a favorite one? Uh, no. No? no. No, really? I, you know, I am not a big fan of shoes, but window shopping i like to do window shopping in md like in the in the shoe store for women i really like it aunque no comp well I, i never buy well i hardly ever buy some shoes but yeah <laughs> okay so window shopping guys is that one like cuando vamos a vitrinear right obviously con no intención de comprar just to go so guys, no, what is your favorite place to go window shopping? La game store. Ah, game store. Okay, okay. I am poor, I think. Solo. Uh, uh, no, don't worry, don't worry. Me too. We are too. Es que window shopping es como una actividad that we normally do, right? We go to Metro Centro and Solo vamos a caminar and watch. So that's it. That's window shopping. No tiene propósito comprar. Um, you know, I also like to go to Omnisport and like what is <laughs> So I like to see like uh, sofas. I like to see cameras. I never buy. It's just, oh, I really like it. Dalila, where do you go window shopping? Online. Ah, that's right. Es que ahora ya lo hacemos online. That's a good point. But where do you do it? In marketplace or in an application? Marketplace. Ah, in Amazon. Okay, marketplace. That's right. We do window shopping in marketplace too. In Amazon. Okay. In Amazon, not. I don't do it very often. Guys, ustedes, do you go window shopping or do you go like checking in Amazon? Well. In marketplace, yeah, I check it a lot. Yeah. I never buy. <laughs> Jorge, which do you prefer? You got more? Okay, so we got like window shopping. That's the Sorry, first. Teacher. Uh -huh, Hi, no worries. That, yeah, you were in mute. <laughs> it's it's a, a, a mark place and, and, and Amazon. It's good ah, price. Okay, so yeah, marketplace is because it's a Salvadorian one, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And there are good offers. So there are really good things. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Okay, very cool. Now let's take a look here. The other one we have is on sale. Mr. Maya nos comentaba en oferta, right? Cosas que están con descuentos. That's the word. This is on sale. A outlet. Guys, what is an outlet mall? Ya lo hemos escuchado. The same heard? thing on sale, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Outlet es como donde venden, digamos, lo más... Para todo lo que ya no se vende. 
it probably yes probably yes and the, and the europe is all of this is lo que ha pasado de moda is all okay the okay it's, oh. it's, it's very it's very cheap yes in el salvador do we have outlets mm, no no not very cheap okay so outlet Uh -huh. eh, en la empresa donde yo estoy, si antes teníamos un aula, me acuerdo. Ok, ok. But, ¿Qué vendían en el aula? Like, all stuff. Le producto de que ya, se, ya tenía tiempo de haberse elaborado y no se habían vendido. Ah, ok. So, but not anymore. ¿Ya no tienen el aula? Eh, no, ya no. Uh -huh. Pero sí se vendían también igual. Más que todo, eh, eh, cosas eh, de los mismos productos, pero más cómodos. Oh, so cheaper. Mm -hmm. So cheaper prices. Okay, okay. Well, eh, no necessarily, right? Es como que no funcionen o estén en malas condiciones, but sometimes eh, también hay outlets, right? In El Salvador, like Pierre, they have outlets. Si no entiendo mal, es porque no tienen alguna verillita, right? Like a very small quality problem, pero que no afecta. Guys, what is your experience on outlets? Shopping center. Mm, pero shopping center no sería, creo, un outlet. I think that wouldn't no, be. No, this is a second. Yeah, that would uh, be, uh, yes, that would be a second hand store. Uh, I have an experience in Simán, outlet Simán. Ah, oh, okay. But the outlet Simán is Prisma Moda, right? No, Simán outlet in, in Metro Centro, San Salvador. Metro Sur. Metro Sur. Yeah, Metro Sur. Ah, Metro Sur. Ah, Metro Sur. Okay. Metro Sur. Okay. En, en Plaza Hello Mundo. There. Oh, cuéntenos, telas, telas, Mr. Amaya. Uh, había comprado una refri y cuando fui al outlet la encontré ahí, estaba el, la mitad de precio de lo que me costó. No. What sí. did you do? Ya la había comprado, así que. <ríe> Just regret. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that was bad. But wait, so where is the outlet in Metro Sur? Yes. I have never seen it. But Metro, okay, Um, where? Like in the first floor or second floor? In the first floor, I think so. Okay, and it says yeah. Iman or, or it says outlet. Yeah, on the first floor. Oh my God, I have never seen it. From, uh, in front of the restaurant, the restaurant. La Calaca. Ah, yes, yes, you're right. Oh, that's the outlet. Okay, but, but guys, uh, so, Okay, the refrigerator in your case, Mrs. Armaya, was 50% off for la mitad. Okay. Can you can you get anything? Can you find clothes? Um, I don't know, appliances, phones, yes, everything. shoes. Oh, okay. Sounds like a very good place to go. Okay, okay, nice. Thank you for the recommendation. I'll, I'll check that out. I'll check it out, you know, we never know. Okay, so normally that's the outlet. También he escuchado de uno, guys. I don't know if you have heard about it. It is called a botón rojo, like a place where you can buy shoes and the shoes are cheaper, maybe not 50%, but like a very big amount has discounted from it. So there is a really big discount. Have you heard about Botón Rojo? No. I think it's called Botón Rojo. I'm not sure. No. Any other outlet you have yeah, heard Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in, in from the gallery as Sima. Okay. okay. I Before saw I one very close to Torogos in San Salvador, like in front of uh, Cristobal Colón. There was one store in the, uh, I, I never went, but one of my friends mentioned that shoes for the men were very cheap. So I was like, oh, that's a very good place to go. 
Okay. Yes. Any other place that you know that is an outlet, guys? Siento que tienen recomendaciones, but you don't want to share. Guys, tell us. ¿A dónde podemos ahorrar? Where can we save some money? I don't know. No more? Okay, okay. But but that is a really good one, sir. The one Mr. Amaya mentioned from Galleria. Silvia? Um, no, Lord. Si aún existe, pero en mexicano había un outlet de ropa de, de jeans. Antes existía la marca San Honoré. Um, bueno, la, la Búfalo. Búfalo. La Búfalo. Okay. Uh -huh. No sé si se mantiene. Uh, en mexicano. Uh, yes, uh, Street to Cuscatancingo. Can yes. you find like this outlet? Uh, I don't no know. No idea. Is, is, uh, I, I don't remember, but I cannot. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, that sounds like a really nice thing. The only one I know and I am sure is for Pierre Cardine. Um, there is an outlet very close to El Jaguar, you know, like uh, some meters away from El Jaguar. And because the factory or the manufacturing company is there. So normally if a blouse is like $30, you can find it there like in 10 or $15, like 50% off. So that is the one that I'm sure, and that's an outlet and the factory too. So those are the ones, right? So outlets are like uh, cheaper prices, same, uh, probably a little bit less quality and things like those. The next one guys we have is spend, spend money on. So quick question, uh, guys, normally, what about you? En que gastan su dinero? What do you spend some money on? And I say it gastar because spend is como en que utiliza su dinero. But también tenemos la, el otro verbo. We also have this other word that is waste. So do you waste money? Gastan, mal gastan su dinero, right? O solamente like, ah, lo gasta. So that's the difference between these two. Um, so do you waste? money on something or do you spend money on something? For example, <laughs> si es comida es necesario, we spend money. Pero que sería un waste? Que es algo que compran, guys, that you're like, ay, no lo necesito, pero lo quiero. <laughs> so what do you waste your money si on? Si soy. Okay. So, but what do you, what is it? I agree. <laughs> ¿En qué gastan, guys? What do you spend your money on? Video games. And okay. Sleepers. En unas pantuflas de, de la planta de Mario. No okay. las necesito, pero las compré. <laughs> okay. Was it expensive? ¿Cómo? Estaban caras. Were they expensive? 30 pesos. Oh, but, but, ¿qué lo considera? Is it a spend or a waste? Waste. Okay. <laughs> oh, in the sleepers. Okay, okay. Well, pero está feliz con las pantuflas, entonces, you know. <laughs> so that works. Guys, what about the rest of you? ¿En qué gasta su dinero? What do you spend your money on? Aparte de necesidades básicas, right? Besides transportation, gasoline, food. Um, ¿En qué gastan? What do you spend your money on? Or what do you waste your money on? Compran café time. adicional. Do you buy some coffee? Algo que no necesiten, but every day. Yes, it's hard. Mm, no, 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 no. no. Miss, yes, así. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se dice? Vaya, yo, eh, ¿qué? 
a veces gasto como en cosas de, de cocina. Ok, ok, ok. But, no, but no, no, no. tell me this in English, because tenemos los dos ver verbos, right? Spend es si realmente necesita lo que va a gastar. Y el otro es I waste. So mm -hmm. I waste money on, mm -hmm. or I spend money on. ¿Cuál de las dos? Mm -hmm. ¿Lo necesita o no lo necesita? I waste. <laughs> okay. Uh, but on what? On food or... Solo porque me gusta. <laughs> pero, pero ¿qué compra? What do you buy? What do you waste your money on? Oh, por ejemplo... In oh. Dollar City? También. Okay. <laughs> Guys, Dollar City is del diablo, you know? <laughs> That's bad. That's really bad. So, um, so can comprado. What have you bought que no necesitaban, but you just bought it? In my case, you know, yo compro muchos stickers. So I waste money on stickers. Uh, or me gusta pintar, so I, I waste a lot of money on paints and, uh, and, and canvas. So I buy the big canvas, I, I waste a lot of money on that. What about you guys? ¿En qué gastan? And that is Dollar City. <laughs> Dollar City, sí, de todo. So, ¿quién comprado? What have you bought? Um, en Dollar City. <laughs> Glass. Glasses? Yes. Okay, glasses. You know, one of my friends one time. Flower. Ah, okay, flowers. One of my friends compró piedras, guys. She put rocks. <laughs> I don't know. So, ¿qué es lo más raro que han comprado? What is the craziest thing you bought? Mm. Or muestren, no, si lo tienen por ahí, show, show them. <laughs> We want to see the object. Aromatic candles. Oh, but they are so delicious. Like yeah. candles? Yes. Wait, ah, I mean. okay. Yes, they are so delicious. Okay, okay. So that's the one, right? Spend es algo que necesitamos. Waste es en lo que gastamos, malgastamos, right? Our money. We have a receipt, obviously, cuando compramos, when, oh, I see the candle, Sandra. Yeah, but there, what is the flavor or what is the smell? Like citric? No, it's not citric. Um, I don't know. Teacher. It doesn't say. <laughs> <laughs> Pero huele rico, but it smells good, I yes. guess. <laughs> okay. yes. You know, I love, me gustan los olores de canela. I don't know why. So I like the, the, um, the cinnamon, cinnamon smell. So we have the other one that is a receipt. Obviously. It's a vanilla. Uh, Van ah, vanilla. vanilla. Okay. Yes. So vanilla. Yes. That sounds good. And here, guys, eh, siempre que compramos nos dan un papelito, right? That is called a receipt. So, obviously, si voy a cambiar algo, if I need to change the product, necesito presentar the receipt, right? Or the ticket. That's the one we call it. We have a wallet, but a wallet is lo que usamos para andar nuestro dinero most of the times. Get a refund, right? Uh, like a refund is uh, el reembolso or a reimbursement of the money. Then we have shop around, que es pretty much comprar. And uh, in El Salvador, tenemos la expresión a bargain. So a bargain is like what we call tachada, right? Super low prices, cosas que son muy baratas. And then you say, wow, que ganga, right? So that is a bargain. Obviously, también se parece mucho a good deal. So, algo que se obtiene por un precio súper bueno. They you say, oh, this is a, real, a good deal. So, algo que valió la pena. And uh, the price is good. And then we have for sale, right? Algo que está a la venta. Probablemente ya lo vieron en películas. 
that you got for sale, a una casa or a car. Those are the most common uh, places where we see this expression. So guys, repeat them conmigo, please repeat with me. Window shopping. Window shopping. Window shopping. Window shopping. On sale. On sale. On sale. Outlet mall. Outlet mall. Spend money. Spend money. Spend money. Waste money. Waste, Waste money. money. A receipt. A receipt. Receipt. Mm -hmm. A wallet. A wallet. Get a refund. Get a refund. 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 Yes, very good. Shop around. Shop around. Shop around. A bargain. A bargain. A good deal. A good deal. For sale. It's really similar to on sale. Okay. And the other ones, you already know them. Así que nos vamos a ir a la última, right? That it says a shopaholic. Guys, repeat with me, a shopaholic. Shopaholic. Yes. Are you a shopaholic, guys? Depend. It depends. Okay. So what is a shopaholic? What is the meaning of shopaholic? Con los juegos. <laughs> Un loco okay. toca por las compras. Yes. Una persona que se vuelve loco, right? Con algo en específico. Or just simply like shopping. So these are games, okay? So le gusta comprar muchos juegos, probably. Like video games. Tam También lápices. Mm -hmm. Pencils. La Pencils? What? Do you have a collection? Uh, no, porque dibujo. Ah, oh, okay, very nice. Very, very good. No tiene que mostrar los drawings. Guys, what about you? Are you a shopaholic? A shopaholic shoes. Oh, a shoes shopaholic. How many birds do you have? A lot? Oh, uh, a lot. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Are you a shopaholic, guys? Not really. No. You don't buy like a lot of things. You don't collect things. Okay, I mean, so people have collections uh, de monedas and compra and, you know, things like that. So, but that is just totally fine. So take a look at this one. Um, vamos a trabajarles durante toda la semana. We're, 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 not, we're gonna be working on this vocabulary the whole week. Uh, so if you want, you can take a picture of this and um, we're going to practice with this later, right? So I just wanted you to have an idea about this. So um, we're going to go over a couple of more vocabulary because antes de practicar the topic for today, it's important that we review this. So give me one second and I'm going to show you here really quick. So vamos a revisar un poquito eh, algunas expresiones que vamos a usar en transacciones. For example, here we have this bill, right? And this is one dollar. So creo que todos lo conocemos. This is not new. And we really know this one. So then, a esto, guys, ¿cómo digo billete? How can I say billete? Escríbanmelo en el chat. Write it in the chat, please. So how do you say billete and how do you say moneda? Bill. Ticket. Okay, a bill. Y si a fuera bill. una moneda? Ticket. A coin. A coin. Perfect. That's the one. So yeah, aplica ticket, pero cuando hablamos de, de avión, right? O algo como el bus, for example. Pero billete en dinero, so we call it bill. And in moneda, we call it coins. So bills and coins. Those are the ones. Okay, so we have a dollar. Then we have a $20 bill, right? So siempre son bills. Eh, como lo veíamos la vez anterior, right? Que bill era una factura, so también es un billete. This is a bill in this case. We have this one. The, uh, what do you think this is? What is this, guys? How do you call it in English? 
helicopter. Very good. This is a helicopter. Okay. Good, good, good. Vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulary here. Uh, the next one we have is this one. So take a look. We have the word that is change. Guys, repeat and conmigo. Change. Change. Mm -hmm. Change. Creo que todos pagamos algunas veces con tarjeta de crédito, but si damos cash, so if you give cash, ¿qué es lo que recibimos? The change. The change. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we receive the change. El Then, vuelta. tenemos two people, yeah, el vuelto. Tenemos two people here. ¿Qué es ella? How do you call these people? Si es una tienda. Customer. Customer, very good. That is the customer. ¿Y qué sería ella? What is uh, the name we give to this person? Seller. Seller, cashier. Y también tenemos una palabra adicional que es clear. So, seller, cashier, or clerk. Mm -hmm. Very good. Then, we have the following. So, again, take a look here. We have... Oh, wait. Okay. So, we have the clerk or the cashier. And we have also the customer. So, for you to see this a little better. Uh, look at this car. So, guys, what do you think about this car? Uh, tenemos formas de hablar de precios, right? So, we can say that a car is cheap, es barato. ¿Qué sería lo opuesto de barato? Caro. Caro. Ok, expensive. Pero hay una palabra que está en medio de los dos. No caro, no barato. That is affordable. So, take a look here. So, cheap, barato, right? Affordable, ni caro ni barato, si nos alcanza para pagarlo. Inexpensive, algo que es muy caro. So guys, repeat with me. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap here. Okay. Affordable. 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 Yes. Affordable. Expensive. Expensive. Okay. Very good. What do you think about this car? Este tipo, esta marca, this kind of car, is it cheap, affordable, or expensive? Expensive. Expensive. A Hyundai, right? I think no. it's a Hyundai. I'm not sure. Hyundai. Looks like a Hyundai, mm -hmm. but I'm not quite sure. Guys, ¿me escuchan cortado? Uh, am I breaking or me escuchan bien? Se me está cortando. Yo le escucho bien. You sound well. No, it's clear. Okay, si me corto, please let me know because no sé si mi, mi, mi audio me está dando problemitas here de repente. So tell me, please. Okay. Now let's move on. Let's take a look at the following. We have a lot of things to review. So hold on a second. Okay. So we got the car. What about the ball? Is it cheap, affordable, or expensive? Or ¿qué tipo de pelota? what kind of ball? Affordable. Is it affordable? Cheap. Cheap. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué considerarían cheap. expensive? Que sea, del, que sea de la champion. How much? Fifteen dollars is expensive. 50 or fifteen? Fifty. Fifty. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Ah, fifty. <laughs> so fifteen would be expensive. Oh, okay. Well, depend. I think I don't know. That's for me. Know. That's for me. Ah, no sé mucho de the balls. I'm not sure. So fifteen, yeah, for me too. Eh, Alguien dijo teacher? Anybody say teacher here? Ya mi conciencia, guys. <laughs> Sorry, creo que escuché. Somebody said that. Okay. Um, guys, how much is a watermelon? How much can we pay for a watermelon? Three dollars. Okay, three dollars. That's expensive. Twenty-three dollars. Three dollars. 
Okay. What about a star fruit? I don't know. I have never bought a star fruit, so I don't know. Maracuja. Uh huh. A star fruit. A star fruit. Yes, we call it a star fruit. Tiene la forma, si se fijan, tiene la forma de, de, de una estrella. Yeah. So it's a star fruit. Or a Pare fashion fruit. Parece papay. <laughs> no. No, it, it is a star fruit. So how much? <laughs> Guys, ¿quién he comprado? Juan, have you ever bought? ¿Cuánto podríamos pagar? How much will we pay? Depende, sí. But like, ¿usted cuánto pagaría? How much would you pay for this? Three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know, sir. I'm not quite familiar with this. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the following thingy. We have a little doll, right? Guys, how much can the doll be? Cheap. Okay, cheap, like what? Like five dollars, ten dollars, how much? Three dollars. Three dollars. Okay, okay. Imagine no, for a moment. Affordable. affordable. Affordable, okay. Yeah, Imagine, affordable. guys, that you are my uh, salespeople, right? Imagine that you are vendors. I am going to be your customer. How would you offer the doll to me? So, ¿cómo me la venderían? How would you sell this doll to me? It's beautiful. Okay. You can uh, comprar para tu hija. Buy. Buy for you. Uh -huh. For your daughter. Your daughter. You need, uh, guys, you need I, I for daughter. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a daughter. <laughs> no, oh, um, Sabrina, ¿cómo se dice? Niece. Niece. Okay. You need for niece. Okay, vamos guys, convénzame, sell it. <laughs> oh, okay, so how much is it? Or the materials, nadie mencionó el material. So you can mention materials, you can mention size. How much is it? So en cuanto la vendería. 20. 20. No, Mr. Yes. Amaya, that is too expensive. I don't have money, I'm poor. Three dollar offer. Okay, it's on sale just today. Okay, that's actually very nice. That's a really good way to do it. Okay, so um, remember that we use the expression on sale, right? Está en, en promoción, for example. It is on sale, right? Okay, let me show you the following. Podemos, ¿Qué podemos describir, decir, guys? What can we say? So we have here expensive, and uh, we can use a couple of words para describir a little bit better. So, normalmente cuando venden, quienes venden, right? Ayúdennos, guys. ¿Qué mencionan ustedes? What do you mention? O cuáles son, ¿qué es información importante? O cuando compran, ¿qué es importante for you? What are the important elements that you ask for? The La marca. The brand. Okay, so this the brand. This material. Material. Ah, very good. The material. Okay. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Para que le gustan tal vez eh, colores diferentes o colors, if there, is a, if there are colors different. Um, eh, I don't know, designed probably. ¿Qué más? Brand, material, color. La calidad. Ok. Quality. The quality. All right. Aunque a veces casamos brand con quality, but that is a really good point. ¿Qué más? Para mí, guys, lo primero que pregunto es, 
cuánto vale, right? So the price, para saber si entra o no entra en mi presupuesto. If it is or it is not in my budget. So um, take a look at this one. Obviously, como vamos a describir a couple of articles, algunos de nosotros vamos a hacer un role play. So, algunos van a ser compradores and some of you van a ser vendedores, right? Some of you are going to be vendors. So, take a look here. I have, um, let me see, uh, let's muestro acá una picture. Oh my God, where are you? Wait, wait, se me movió. Okay, there we go. Take a look at the following, guys. I have here four articles y ya tenemos el precio, right? So I have a toy, I have a stir fruit, I have a car, se lo doy bien barato, you know? and I have a phone. So really quick, guys, I want you to sell me one object. So comencemos por el toy. So do I have any volunteer? Alguien quiere intentar venderme or vendernos el toy or escogemos victims? Do we select some victims? No volunteers? Okay. Eh, Ceci, dígame el número del 1 al 5. Give me a number, please. Del 1 al 5. Yes. El 1. El suyo. <laughs> No, a ver, no, teacher. Le voy a cambiar. Ok. Vaya, vamos a ver el 5. Ok, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ok, Ivan. Hi. Ivan está por acá. Are you around? Creo que no he escuchado a Ivan today. Ivan, Ivan, are you here? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? How you doing? Está en casa? Are you at home or está trabajando? Are you working? Um, acá estoy, solo que por rato se me va la señal. Vale, pero ahorita no se escucha. Can you listen to us? Eh, sí, se escucha. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead, all right. And uh, Ivan, intente vendernos, try to sell the toy. Comenzamos con el, el, el juguete, right? Try to sell the toy. And guys, ustedes son los compradores. So ustedes le pueden decir a Ivan que no, que no lo necesitan, you know, que muy caro, I don't know. So imagínense que realmente you are the customers here. So Ivan. The, the classroom is all yours. Intente vendernos el, el juguete. Try to sell us the toy. Um, no se complique la vida that much. Don't complicate it. Solamente podemos irlo describiendo con uh, it is, right? Uh, ¿Qué es lo que podemos hacer con él? So... Uh, you can, ¿qué es lo que tienes? So you can. We can use it is, we can use it has, y ahí lo vamos describiendo. Si no encuentra cómo decir algo, dígalo en español y acá los compañeros le ayudan. No se preocupe. Eh, si se recuerdan, guys, también el día de ayer, revisamos la parte de disease. So, normalmente cuando eh, presentamos podemos utilizar eso también. So, this is the most recent, this is the modern, the most modern toy, this is the perfect gift, I don't know, so be creative and try to present it. Um, okay, guys, hagamos lo siguiente, let's do the following. Eh, junto con Iván voy a seleccionar un par de personas, right? para que nos intenten vender algunos productos. And uh, so, let me see here. Uh, Mr. Amaya, Ceci, and Ivan van a trabajar con el toy. So, les voy a dar tres minutitos. I'll give you like three minutes para que nos intenten describir eh, la parte de... Un toy, cómo venderían el juguete, right? 
um, let me see, Cesar, Yvonne, Jonathan, and Jorge, uh, el suyo es el carro, so van a intentar vendernos el carro, right? This car. Uh, so, let me see. Hello? Podría pasar otra persona en mi casa. Es que estoy en otra llamada del trabajo. Vale, no hay problema. Es ok. Sí, sí. Gracias. So, Sandra, Silvia Inés. And hi, Karen. So, ustedes nos van a intentar vender el teléfono. You're going to try to sell the phone. Right? And Catherine, Carla. No sé si Carla y Catherine nos escuchan. I don't know if they are here. Juan Antonio. And uh, creo que había Mr. Carlo. Well, no, solo Mr. Amaya está acá. Ok. So, ustedes, guys, nos ayudan con la Starfruit que está acá, que vale $7. The one that is $7. So, ¿cuál es el objetivo, guys? Convencernos que realmente lo necesitamos. No se compliquen la vida match eh, pensándolo en español. Comiencen con esto. Start with this. Y le, solo le van agregando algunos conectores. Right? For example, imagínense que voy a vender, I don't know, eh, la sandía. So, this is the most delicious fruit. Um, it has a lot of vitamins. It is fresh. And it is really sweet. So uh, today, just today, this is uh, three dollars. But we can send you, we can send you the watermelon to your house <laughs> or to your apartment to San Salvador. You know. Uh, so like this, con algo bien sencillo, we can start uh, building information, right? So guys, tenemos tres minutitos. We have three minutes. Y luego intentamos venderlo, right? Then we try to sell this.
One more minute, guys. Okay, guys, so let's get it started. Let's see what you got. All right, convince us. Intenten vendernos los objetos. Guys, all of you van a ser los, eh, los clientes too. You're going to be the customers at the same time. So, uh, obviamente pueden, you know, um, replicar. So you can reply con la respuesta normal como lo harían en español, right? Oh, I don't need it. It's too expensive or things like that. So uh, let's start with the toy, guys, who is ready? Se pueden ir ayudando, you can like complement each other. Pueden ir agregando más información que el compañero no dijo, right? So you can add it right there. So the toy, are we ready, guys? So the people who had the toy were, if I'm not wrong, that was Ceci, that was... Uh, Ivan too, right? Uh, hey, Mr. Amaya, so tell us, guys. Ben, de nuestros objetos. Tell us, uh, sell us these objects. Yes, I This wood very resistant to water. It is the most modern. Uh, it has batteries and it is a rechargeable. Rechargeable? Rechargeable. Okay. Uh, you can resist them both. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, anything else? That was a really good description, guys. Alguien más quiere agregarle? Do you want to add more details? Mm -hmm. Yes, Ivan? Uh Voy a tratar, teacher. Dale, go uh, for it. Okay, uh, this uh, stove is essential for children. Okay. It has beautiful color. Okay. It is all for this day at okay. $5. It comes oh. December EPS. Oh, okay. Okay. Guys, ¿alguien quiere rechazar la oferta? Do you want to reply back? Okay, so I will do it. Um, I like it, but I don't have money right now. So I don't have five dollars. Barato. <laughs> it's a credit, credit card teacher. I don't have a credit card. Yeah. And I don't like colors. It's a beautiful color. Cool. I don't buy. like yellow. 
It's complicated. Con esa me guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, actually, that was a really nice description. Okay, you just need to push it a little bit and convince it. But that was a good one. Very nice job. Okay. Guys, el segundo, veamos sus habilidades de vendedores, you know? <laughs> ok, para su, para su futuro negocio, you know, su emprendimiento, so this is the, the point to start, right? Uh, vamos con el carro, guys. Let's get started with the car. So who wants to tell us about the car? This car, um, this car is very economy and comfortable. And, and this up-to-date maintenance. This color for the, the card is to color gray and is polarized. This offer is in the one tonset dollar bill. Okay. The, the car is safety for you and family. Complete okay. extras, air condition, air bag, full electric and approximate key. Is offer today. <laughs> oh, that's a really good one. Okay, guys, anybody else? Sandra? Yeah, it's automa automa automatic. Okay. For okay, well, a thousand dollars, I think it's okay, but no le veo punto, punto malo, wait, <laughs> let me think. Okay, so a thousand dollars, it's okay, I think it's cheap, but there is only one problem. Uh, I don't like uh, automatic cars because um, I think that the maintenance is more expensive. I prefer um, standard cars or manual cars, manual transmission. So I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Come on. Come on. It's, 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 it's a comfort. It's a comfort. It's, it's automatic. It's a comfort. Driving okay. into traffic is comfort. It's, it's rest and the traffic. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You can rest a little bit in traffic, uh, but it's a thousand dollars. I don't have the money right now. I only have 900. It's, 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 it's a term, uh, uh, 10, 10 months and, and paid uh, uh, 100 a month. Oh, can I do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. Okay. Okay. I'll buy it. <laughs> okay. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Oh, esa fue una solución super rápida. That was a really quick solution, you know, like, okay, no worries. Pague el resto, like, poquito a poquito, right? A little yeah. bit. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Okay. I like it. All right, guys, let's go with the next one. This is a phone, pero uno de los viejitos, right? One of the old phones. So um, what can you tell us about it? It's, uh, who is ready? ¿Quién nos quiere vender el teléfono, guys? It's only $19. Okay, perfect, Silvia. We are here for you. It's a small Phone. Uh, the actress price 19 is a uh, house uh, color. Uh, you can keep in your pocket. Okay, that was a good one. Guys, ayúdennos. ¿Cómo lo rechazarían? How would you reply back? Ah, yeah, también pueden agregarle. You can add more details. You you don't uh, worry about the, the screen mm -hmm. because it's not touching and you don't worry for the breaking the screen. Oh, that's a really good point. Okay. So the screen is not too sensitive. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Um, I think the price is okay. I think $19 is fine. But uh, the problem is that this cell phone, this model is too old. Nobody uses that one. You can use for necessary. For example, you, you go to the centers of San Salvador. Okay. And you need uh, this one. Okay. Okay, that was good. <laughs> okay. Um, it's nineteen dollars. Okay. Uh, can what what company what phone company can I use it with? You can use it with order. all company. You put it whatever chip and okay. the phone is functional. Okay. Does it have internet? Yes, if you buy a package in the in the company, you can have an internet. Yo creo que ni internet agarraban, right? <laughs> sure, they, they, they didn't steal. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, they didn't is... steal it. Ah, and, and the weapon and the. And the steel, se los tira ahí, ahí es, es un arma también porque empezaron. <laughs> so it becomes a weapon. Y a Karen says that I can take it to San Salvador, like downtown San Salvador. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay, miss. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yes, anybody else? ¿Alguien quiere agregar algo más? I think it's a really good possibility. So let me think about it. I will think about it and I will let you know. Sounds good, guys. Very good. Let's go with the last one. Okay, hey, let's start for the last. Because creo que es difícil venderla. I think it's really hard to sell something like this. Um, so, Corla, eh, Catherine, no sé si están por acá, girls. So, you can help us. Juan Antonio, so, or guys, si alguien más que les quiere ayudar, you are welcome to help them. So sell these to us, sell the star fruit to us. ¿Cómo llamaba la fruta, teacher? Star fruit. Okay. This is a star fruit. It's written in vitamin C. I see a vitamin. By, you can say vitamin or vitamin. Vitamin C. Yes, vitamin C. Mm -hmm. It has a delicious flower, flower. Mm -hmm. You can make soft drink with it and take it every day. Mm -hmm. And a very comfortable price. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm, uh, girls, creo que las demás chicas no están acá. Guys, pero si alguien le quiere aportar algo más. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect, Catherine. Tell us, tell us. Uh, it is freshly cooked. Mm -hmm. It's natural with vitamins. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Okay. Uh, get them for seven dollars. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's a really good uh, yep. offer. But there is only, but it's too much. It's only my sister and I, so I don't, I don't need ten. Cheap, teacher. <laughs> ten dollars? No, it's very expensive. Like one dollar. Oh, no, no. Ten, ten for seven dollar. Oh, okay, sir. Ten seven dollars is like. I don't know how much, but okay. <laughs> Like 70 cents. Okay. Um, I don't know, guys. Not me. What about you guys? Would you like to buy star fruit? No, nobody? No. Ya la han probado? Have you ever tasted it? Teacher, this is maracuya. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. Se supone que yes. se supone que yeah. Se supone que es like. 
Okay. Yeah, it's a okay. it's a a natural soda. Is 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 rich. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like it. Well, no sé si le he probado, guys. I don't remember. It's acid. It's acid. Acid. How Sour. 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 It is it's sour. sour. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. Uh huh. So, pero it's verdad que rico. tiene semillitas. It has sí. some seeds. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Y es rica en vitamina C. Bastante vitamina C. Okay. Maybe that would be a very good option. A los que sufrimos de eh, muchas enfermedades, you know, or flu, cold. So that can be a good option, but not for me. ¿Alguien les quiere comprar? Do you want to buy Catherine and Juan Antonio? Me, yo me la quiero. Ah, oh, cool. Juan Antonio convenza, ¿no? <laughs> Jorge said yes. <laughs> Jorge said he would. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Sounds like a really. Se llevarán un saco por $7 dólares, Tiche. El saco. <laughs> no, mis, yo le compro jocotes. <laughs> I can buy jocotes, I can buy mangoes, but a star fruit, I'm like, oh, maybe not. No, I love jocotes, guys. I love mangoes, and I love jocotes, and I love uh, sour fruit. But not a star fruit. That's not my thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Very good job. So you did it nicely. Now, vamos a revisar un poquito. We're going to check really quick um, a little bit of how to, uh, ya en una conversación, right? Cómo funcionaría esta parte. So how would it work? Because ahorita estamos más como like very general things. Pero ¿qué sucede si realmente estamos intentando vender? What would happen if we are trying to sell, right? Eh, ¿Cómo vendería? ¿O qué expresiones puedo utilizar para ofrecer o para preguntar about one specific product? So, I have eh, some conversations here que vamos a practicar. We're going to be practicing this. And give me just a second. Let me show you really quick. And there we go. Okay. okay. Okay, guys. So we're going to practice this for a moment. Allow me one second. Wait. Wait. Okay. Allow me just a second. I don't know what I did. Okay, guys. So let me show you this. They are short conversations. Todas se refieren con esa parte de compra-venta, right? So let's practice this. I have this little conversation. I just need a uh, one volunteer. Can we get a you a letter, guys? I need one person. Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, Jorge, do you want to be the customer or do you want to be the salesperson? Customer, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, the conversation uh, comienza. Oh, pardon. Wait a second. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. So the conversation starts with the a salesperson, and that is me. Okay, uh, so you initial, right? I'm going to be letter A, and you still may be con letter B. Okay. So, um, okay, hi, uh, can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a tissue. What size are you? Y no le muestro la siguiente, you know? <laughs> I am a, a large. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, what color would you like? A blue one. Okay. Oh, here you are. And I'm going to give you a shirt. Thank you. Can I try it on? 
Uh, certainly. The changing room is over there. Thank you. Okay, very good. So, ya compró, no, ya pidió una camisa, todavía no la ha comprado, right? We have not yeah. bought it yet. Take a look at the questions. ¿Qué preguntas podemos hacer? What questions can we ask here? Me decían before que algunas cosas importantes son like la marca, right? Obviously, el precio, pero también acá tenemos más detalles. For example, en ropa, size. What size are you, right? S, M, L. By the way, las, eh, las tallas están en inglés, like small, medium, and large. And what color would you like, right? So, si les gusta algún color específico. And then, si es una tienda física, no marketplace, podemos hacer esta pregunta. Can I try it on? Me la puedo probar, right? Can I try it on? Con los zapatos igual. Can I try them on, right? So, uh, Jorge ya se la puedo probar. So, Jorge already went to the changing room. Mm -hmm. Y ahora no. continuamos. And then we just continue. And uh, there we go. Okay, there you go. Um, so Jorge, how does it fit? It's fantastic, I like it. Ah, uh, yes, it looks nice on you. No sabe, pero it looks nice on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. I bought it. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how would you like to uh, how would you like to pay? Do you take credit cards? Yes, we do. Okay. Here's my credit card. All right, perfect. So thank you so much and have a nice day. And that's it. So we already completed a purchase, right? ¿Qué más agregamos? Well, como estamos hablando de ropa, obviously, uh, esa es la pregunta, right? How does it fit? ¿Le queda? Yes. Right? ¿Cómo le queda? How does it fit? Uh, and how would you like to pay? ¿Cómo quiere pagar? Um, or puedo preguntar de una sola vez. Uh, will you pay in, ca uh, in cash or credit card or check, right? So we can be more specific as well. And that's it. So completamos una compra. Eh, preguntas, guys. Hay alguna parte de vocabulario that is super new to you. Algo que no comprenden what it means. Eh, Dalila hace la pregunta es sobre XS. So las X son extra. So that would be extra small. But actually, yeah, so in English, es, son las, es que in Spanish, nosotros hemos adoptado, creería, el método americano, because uh, las tallas ya están en inglés, they are already in English. Like Excel, X, XS, ya están en inglés, they are already in English. Okay, eh, no hay preguntas, no hay questions, guys, we're good. Okay, okay, amazing. So guys, vamos a ir rapidito, we're gonna go really quick, vamos a practicar esta conversación, we're gonna practice this one. But les voy a pedir que cambiemos un par de datos, right? Try to change a couple of uh, details. For example, eh, si no quiero una camisa, sino que estoy buscando un teléfono, or un perfume, or uh, something different, probably a book, right? Esta pregunta va a cambiar. Ya no voy a preguntar necesariamente what size. Eh, puedo preguntar si es una computadora, what storage. ¿Qué marca? What brand, right? Or eh, qué tamaño. So, si es ropa, si utilizamos siempre small, medium, large. But eh, en pantalones puede que cambie un poquito la medida too, right? Y utilizamos eh, tallas americanas. 
So I don't know if you are familiar with some of them. So tenemos cero, dos, cuatro, seis, etc. Right, so we change them a little bit. Uh, colors, so we can, you know, still use colors. Si hablamos de electrodomésticos, por ejemplo, no le voy a preguntar, can I try it on? Lo puedo probar. Si no, podemos utilizarlo como, lo puedo encender. Can I turn it on? Right? Can I test it? Probably, right? Si voy a comprar un perfume, es like, can I smell it? Or, ¿qué más piden? ¿Qué, piden prueba de algo, guys? Do you ask for anything in a specific? Entonces, sí, cuando van a su tienda, le piden algo, la like, puedo ponérmelo, puedo probarlo, or, o algo así, o hay alguna pregunta específica que le hagan. When you buy, uh, uh, I can puedo probarlo. Yes, uh -huh. okay, can I try it on, Karen? When you buy a cheese or, or some food. Ah, very good point. Exactly. So, cuando, más cuando es algo caro, right? Y queremos la prueba. So, in that case, si es comida, for food, podemos usar can I taste it? Porque es de prueba de sabor, right? Si es un perfume, for example, if we want to buy a perfume, no es que lo probamos como tal. It's like, can I smell it? Lo puedo oler, right? Can I taste para comidas? Can I smell probably eh, for the, eh, perfumes or aromas, right? For clothes, usamos try it on. Porque es de probárselo. Can I try it on? Si fueran zapatos. Si son accesorios. Can I try it on? Or si son varios, puedo utilizar. Can I try them on? So can I try it on? Can I try them on? Uh, what else? Si fuera un teléfono, una computadora, no es tanto eso, sino puedo revisarlo. Can I check it? Or can I uh, test it? Right? So, vamos a escribir acá. Appliances es más un test. Right? Los checamos, los testeamos. So can I test them? Can I check them? Etc. Eso vayamos viendo qué palabras aplican y que si podemos modificarlo. Um, all right. So take a look at this little conversation. Vamos a crear una similar, guys, pero algunas de estas cosas ya no van. Some of them are not going to be the same. So let me see. I'm going to write them in the chat. So, guys, denme ideas de qué pueden, qué es lo último que compraron. What was the last thing you bought? Probablemente shoes. ¿Qué compran regularmente, guys? So what do you normally uh, shop for? Lo último que compré en la licuadora, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, blender. Ok, I like it. So, shoes, blender. Hello, teacher. Hi, Silvia, how are you? Teacher, todavía voy en camino, pasé en un lugar a cargar medio el teléfono. Ah, llevo por lo menos 38, por lo menos, de, de batería. Así que solo voy a ir como escucha. Bye, Amy, gracias. Va en camino, like, por el tráfico. Sí, por todo el tráfico, como vengo desde aquí de la, ¿cómo le llaman? Eh, son sonates y me vine por la calle esta de la litoral. Entonces, ahí hay ciertos lugares que no hay señal y adicional que el teléfono se me quedó sin batería. Oh, ok. Vaya, mis no, no se preocupe, gracias. Yo voy a ir por... Sí, no, le agradezco por conectarse. Thanks. That's totally fine. Si gusta eh, apagar la cámara, si se siente más cómoda, right? And be careful. Wow, sí. ¿para dónde va, Miss? Where are you going Thank to? You, teacher. Viene para ah, San Salvador. Ya voy aquí llegando a Zaragoza. Ok. Sí, sí, voy para que salte, porque yo digo que salte. Oh, my God. Oh, well. Pero no, pero va. ya va a llegar, Miss. Ya va a llegar. Pero Dios que no pase nada on the way. All right. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. All right. So. Let's take a look. So we have shoes, blender. ¿Qué más, qué más guys? ¿Qué compra? Agregámosle por acá un perfume, like a perfume. What else? 
para quienes compran maquillaje. So we can have like some makeup, right? Or some powder or a lipstick. Ustedes pueden es, es, um, like to choose there. Eh, a phone probably will. Can include a phone here. Okay, guys, so eh, vamos a cambiarle un poquito para que no usemos, you know, solo las mismas preguntas. And we can eh, use more real scenarios. Estas son las situaciones. These are the examples that we have. And creamos una conversación similar, right? You can make a similar conversation. Eh, so podemos tener un vendedor o dos vendedores. And then we can have eh, like dos compradores. And let's try to have this conversation. Solo recordemos, si es comida, por ejemplo, si eh, alguien mencionó quesos o vinos, you know, o si van a comprar algo eh, diferente, podemos utilizar la palabra taste. ¿Puedo probarlo? Can I taste it? Si es un perfume, can I smell it? Si es ropa, can I try it on? Y si son uh, eh, accesorios, cosas, eh, like a phone, a computer, podemos usar can I test it? O can I check it, all right? So guys, I'll give you like 10 minutes maximum and por ahí voy a estarlos eh, visitando en caso que tengan alguna pregunta, any doubt or you want to check something, pueden escribirla, pero lo mejor es si le escriben primero, intenten no leerla, sino intenten de una sola vez decirla, right? Or eh, ustedes decidan, la idea es no depender mucho del cuaderno, al momento de presentarla. So, guys, vámonos a los grupos. Please go to the groups for some minutes. Let's prepare the conversation and then we present. Ya les comparto pantalla. Let me share my screen. There you go. So, let's go, guys. Vámonos a los grupos. Go, 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 go. We got seven, ten minutes max.
Alrighty, guys, sir. Thank you so much for coming back. I think that uh, that was not like a difficult task, right? Um, so what I heard was actually pretty fine. And uh, guys, are you ready to present? Are you ready? Do you have the conversation ready, guys? Miss, we didn't like finish. Eh, nosotros no terminamos, pero hicimos como más de la mitad. Ay, a mí, no se preocupe, la vamos a improvisar, because, you know, real life is like, ah, uh, no. No, lo que sucede, you know, es que, um, yo siempre digo, it's, it's important to practice a little bit, que llevemos un orden, but at some point, eh, pues nos va a tocar, you know, like, ay, no le voy a decir, espera, me voy a buscar mi cuaderno, but, <laughs> nos va a tocar at some point, eh, intentar, you know, adivinar or inventar en el momento. Entonces, no se preocupen, guys. Si todavía les faltaba un pedacito, improvisémoslo. So, let's improvise it. Revisemos lo que tenemos y de ahí nos vamos, right? Eh, si se fijaron, eh, podemos guiarnos como por la pregunta, respuesta. And, uh, no es que sigamos esta, right? Sigan lo que ustedes tienen, but, eh, pero podemos agregar un par de, de detalles, right? So... Eh, Ceci tiene mucha experiencia con esto, así que va a ser un piece of cake for her. <laughs> Pero, to... Miss, no podría poner la pantalla, por favor. Para... Claro, yes, of course. Solo estaban ustedes dos. It was only you two. Y también, ¿quién era? Jorge. 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 Eh, Jorge. Yes, eso lo estoy viendo. Ok. Okay, okay. Well, very good. Very good. Who is the customer and the, who is the clear? Me, the customer. <laughs> oh, you're the customer. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Mm. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a necklace. Uh, what size are you? I need a big necklace. And what color do you like? I would like to to prefer a gold and white. Okay. Um, here you you are. Thank you. Can I try? Can I try it on? Mm, sure, tiny. I have a question. This necklace is made of little chains or um, balls? Um, yes. It's fantastic. I buy it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, how do you like to pay? Uh, do, you, do you prefer um, Cash or a credit card? How do you say the two things? Both. 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 Both are okay. Both. Okay. Here's my credit card. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, we do. Okay. Here's my credit card. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Have a nice day. Oh, that was very nice. That was really good. So you were buying a necklace, right? Ni le preguntó el precio. She didn't ask for a price, you know? It was just like, pay my money. <laughs> okay. Oh, quisiera tener esa confianza. I wish I had <laughs> that confidence. Very nice job, guys. That was really good. That was really good. Okay. Uh, so, a oh, quick question, Ceci, porque ustedes la, la, la buena en esta, en esta área. Eh, cuando usted vende, uh, hace 
¿hay alguna pregunta adicional o algo que usted ofrezca o usted sugiere o cómo lo maneja en español? Porque acá era más como siguiendo el script, but eh, in Spanish, ¿hay algo más que usted ofrezca? Is there anything else? Eh, yes. eh, por ejemplo, si llega un cliente a preguntar por un collar, uh -huh. eh, se le ofrece la pulsera, los aretes, la, la, se le pregunta. Eh, como, como el set. Correcto. Eh, oh, se pregunta okay. si es para regalar, se le ofrece también la cajita de regalo. Igual, Ay, sí, para mí, una... podíamos podía ofrecerle acá, pues sin más dinero, you know. Total, Sandra was like, take my money. Así llegamos los clientes de que solo pregunta, ah, ¿me pueden elaborar esto? Y nunca pregunta el precio y al final le digo, tanto va a ser. Está bien. But I have a problem. I don't use necklace, rings. Earrings. And bracelets, earrings, nothing. Nothing. No, me neither. Oh, I, I don't wear anything. Uh, una vez llegó una cliente de que así llegó a buscar un collar porque lo le urgía de perlas y se le mostró las opciones que teníamos uh -huh. y eligió uno y, y eligió el material y todo y, okay. y al final le salían casi 100 dólares solo en el collar y okay. oh, ya está bien, te pidió la tarjeta ya. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, ella sabía, most likely, right? So, ya sabía que iba a ser caro. Oh, very interesting. Ajá, y como vaya, nosotros ahí vendemos eh, todo el material de bisutería, como okay. por ejemplo, set de pizzas, eh, cadenas, eh, piedras naturales, cristales, madera, okay. acrílico, y todo eso. Eh, siempre igual se le ofrece adicional al cliente como ah, que, ajá, lo, lo que necesita. Va, en mi saca era la oportunidad de practicar. <laughs> But no worries, toda la unidad es eso, así que we're going to have a lot of opportunities to practice. But very good, that was actually very nice. Okay, guys, let's continue with the next one. Eh, and let's see, I got group one. Eh, so, Mr. Amaya, no sé si Karen pudo practicar con ustedes, guys, because creo que Karen se, um, se unió un poquito tarde, but I'm not sure. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Ya lo tiene listo, si no, guys, improvisémoslo, right? Otherwise, let's improvise it a little bit. Um, so, so ¿quién es el, who is the customer and who is going to be declared? Or who is going to be the person helping um, helping here? I'm the sales person, teacher. You're the sales. Okay. Yvonne is the customer. Yes. Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do it. Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for a shoes. What size are you? I am a uh, uh, 36. What color would you like? A black one. Okay, wait a moment. Uh, here you are. Okay. Thank you, it's fantastic. I like it. Do you try, try it on? Or no? Yes, yes. Okay. It's uh, I like it. Let's try it in this way. Uh -huh. How does it fit? It's fantastic. I like it. Yes, it looks like nice on you. Thank you. I'll buy it. How much is it? It. $34, but if you pay with a card, you have a, a, a how do you say this quant, this quant, or discount. how do you discount? Yes. You pay only $25. Oh, really? It's yes. <laughs> how would you like to pay? Uh, do you take credit, credit card? Yes, but you don't have this quant. Oh, okay. Fifty. Did you come and say it? Cash. It cash. Okay. 
I have I have paid cash. Okay, you have uh, you pay twenty five dollar only, and you uh, have a, a this new product. You have a, a discount with a discount with this new product in the next buy. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice Bye. day. <laughs> Oh, that was actually very nice. So one question at the end, you paid cash, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to get that part. Okay, very nice. You know, I go que foodie, guys, is that guys, quick question, girls. Así compra en español, like in real life. Because <laughs> it's como, oh, si los primeros en el take them, so... <laughs> Yvonne, or, or are you like more picky than that? <laughs> Definitely. But I like the shoes. If you like them, you buy them. Yes. Immediately. Maybe. <laughs> ah, that is good. That's really good. Okay. Guys, eh, los demás son como Yvonne. Are you like Yvonne? So, or tarda mucho en comprar or in decide. Especially if the club, yes, teacher. You take a lot of time. Yes. Okay. For me, it's like shoes. Uh -huh. I yes, see I one clothes at in the beginning, and maybe uh, three hours later, I choose the same. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> Me acabo de sentir identificada, you know. So I'm like, oh, I like this. Me voy a dar la vuelta, and if I don't find something that I like, I, I go back. <laughs> that okay. my, my graduate. I I need a address. Okay. And I saw address in, in a shop. Okay. And I go to all Metro Centro. Okay. Maybe four hours later, I show I you I go back. Yeah these the rest yes teacher. oh okay okay but that happens yeah I mean, you pensé que era la única. <laughs> but I, okay. I, I don't go with my father because my father uh, he's not patient yes but he say me i need to eat <laughs> first ah. Oh, he needs to eat, like to get the energy to be with you. <laughs> yes, or need a okay. thing. <laughs> okay, so interesting. It's better to be alone. All right, girls, that was actually a really nice one. Thank you so much for that. And let's go with one more group. I have Cesar, I have Juan Antonio, and Silvia Ines. Guys, are you ready? Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Let's do it. Empiezo yo, usted. No, aquí están. Oh. They, are, they are ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Who is the customer, guys? And who are the salespeople? Or what is yeah. going, how is it going to work? Yo sé. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for uh, shoes. Uh, what size are you? I'm size uh, 90, uh, 90, sorry. What color do you like? A black. Can you ask? Can you can try this on? That's it. The chai room is over there. Thank you. How does it fit? It's excellent. I like it. 
myself. I look nice. Um, and you? Thank you. I buy it. Ah, uh, okay. Who would you like to pay? Um, cash. Do you um? Oh, here's my my cash. Yes. Okay. Here, here is cash. Thank you. Have a nice day. Already, thank you guys. I would, I think that would be it, right? Thank you so much. That was actually really nice to hear you, sir. Um, Juan Antonio, that was actually very nice. Casi ustedes bien calladito, but I'm really glad <laughs> que lo logré escuchar. Silvia, that was actually very nice. Okay, it's a very nice reading. Um, so uh, I think that we got the main points here that is like, uh, or what the kind of questions that we need to ask. And si se fijan, también utilizamos algunas expresiones como can I try it on? Like, puedo probármelo. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to continue uh, checking this part porque no hemos revisado could para hacer preguntas. Es bien polite también. Pero eh, ambos son posibles. Can or could para preguntas, right? We're going to check that uh, tomorrow to start uh, working with other models como might and mate, uh, que también lo vamos a trabajar in this module. So guys, that, that was actually very nice. And uh, um, unfortunately, time is going really fast. Así que dame unos segunditos, solo les tomo um, like attendance here para que ya puedan ir a descansar un poco, right? So wait a second. Me regalan confirmación, please. Si me ayudan con su cámara, that would be really good. I have Mr. Reyes estaba enfermo. So, okay, I have Ceci. Ceci está in. I got Cesar. Gracias. Okay. Uh, I have. Claudia, well, you won. Present. Well, you won. <clears throat> Dalila. Present. Gracias, Miss. Que se mejore. I have yeah, Ivan. Present. Oh, Joel was not here. Jonathan. Present, teacher. Gracias, Jonathan. Jorge. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Present. Very nice. Juan, Mr. Amaya. Here, teacher. Sorry. Thank you. Mr. Amaya. Participate. Ah, no, no worries. I'm sorry. De hecho, eh, vi por ahí su manita, but no sé si tenía una pregunta or something. No, I, it's just that I feel bad and I'm going to the hospital right now. Oh, espero yes. que no sea nada serio. Take care. I hope so. Hopefully you feel better. Karen? Okay. Gracias, gracias por, por gracias, comentarme. Teacher. Gracias. Eh, Carla. Carla por acá. Catherine. Catherine too. Eh, Sandra. Present. Gracias. Silvia Estela. En Silvia Inés. Por ahí la veo. Juan Antonio, hi. Gracias. Hasta ahora, hasta ahora veo sus cámaras, guys. I'm like, wait. No solo las de algunas, si los veo normally. Thank you. Thank you for the cameras. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for your time. Eh, guys, eh, Ivonne, solo se me regala un par de minutitos, please, para el one-on-one. -on -one. Guys, los demás estamos dismissed. Que descansen. Nos vemos hasta el día de mañana. Have an amazing night. Bye, everyone. See you. Good night. See you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Sí, Sandra. Okay. Thank you, Ivana. Un segundito. There we go. Okay. Gracias, Miss. Le voy a robar acá un par de minutitos para la sesión de one-on-one. Eh, no le hemos tenido todavía. Eh, normalmente nuestra sesión es como para revisar eh, si hay algo con lo que le podemos ayudar o algo que considera que se le está haciendo, le está dando problemas, right? algo que podamos mejorar tú. Pero quiero iniciar eh, agradeciendo a la first por el attendance. Yo sé que a veces está you know, en reuniones o algo. Eh, pero siempre le escucho participando y no so thank you so much for that gracias por el, el compromiso you know, que tiene por la participación que eh, siempre veo la cámara and you're asking questions and that is super super nice eh, porque se nota you know, el, el deseo de, de aprender y de, de, de mejorar every single day eh, también con la plataforma estaba revisando ayer y ya avanzó bastante so really nice job with that Um, thing is really, really good. And uh, pretty much that's it on my side. Me imagino que todavía está trabajando. <laughs> sí, este, uh, tengo cada tres semanas, digámosle. Okay. Me toca estar como de turno. Y ah. tengo que atender. Ah, cualquier... es que trabajo remoto, right? Oh. Trabajo remoto y aparte de eso, este, cada tres semanas me toca estar como de turno, o sea, tengo, si me llaman en horas no hábiles, me toca atender, no importa ah. si son las, las ocho de la noche, no importa si son las tres de la mañana, no importa si son las cinco, no importa la hora que sea, tengo que atenderla. Oh. Hasta me toca todo, toda la semana, este, digamos, yo salgo, tengo tres horarios diferentes durante toda mi jornada. Ok. Esta semana que estoy de turno, me toca entrar a las nueve y media y salgo a las seis y media. ¿Nueve y media de la noche? De la mañana. Ah. Entro a las nueve y media de la mañana y salgo a las seis y media de la noche. Luego de las seis y media en adelante hasta las siete de la mañana, que ya hay alguien en, en sitio, ¿verdad? no en sitio, sino que en, eh, ya trabajando, claro, porque también uh -huh. mis otras compañeras trabajan remoto, este, as, entra una a las siete. Entonces, ah, ya a esa ya hora yo ya me quedo libre. Ajá, ah. ya me quedo libre. Entonces, Igual, la, la, próxima, semana, la próxima semana, digamos, a mí me toca entrar a las ocho, salgo a las cinco, la siguiente entro a las siete y salgo a las cuatro. Y oh. así. Es bastante flexible. Lo bueno es que descansa, está en casa, y no sé, es una cosa de, de, bella, you ¿no? Know? <ríe> sí. home, I know that. Eh, y lo que está haciendo se le llama eh, en inglés como on call. Yes. Entonces yes. usted está on call. Ah, mm -hmm. ok, got yes, it, got it. I understand now. Hoy realmente okay. sí, me ha tocado pesado. <ríe> He tenido semanas que yo paso tranquila toda la semana sin ningún sin ningún inconveniente y no, ni, no recibo llamadas, pero digamos hoy sí me tocó que salí a las seis y media solo tuve como 15 minutos de descanso y me llamaron para, para un, una llamada un, había un problema con una aplicación de las que atendemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. terminé, no había ni terminado esa cuando ya me habían llamado para la otra y es por la que me he quedado Oh, ok. Bueno, pero qué interesante, porque no es algo aburrido, you know, so es, es bien, bien cambiante. And I think that's really good. Ok. Um, now, Miss, me gustaría también escuchar, eh, you know, si tiene, like, any, any feedback, any comment, algo en lo que le podamos ayudar también. Me imagino que por el tipo de trabajo that you do, eh, está buscando también las oportunidades como para moverse a inglés, a imagine. Eh, no, porque, in, bueno, realmente aquí en mi trabajo, en el, la empresa en la que estoy, no hay parte en inglés. Okay. Pero realmente sí sirve porque, pues, me, me puede servir como para otro tipo de, de trabajo. Y realmente lo estoy aprendiendo porque siempre había querido aprenderlo. Ah, ok, ok. Porque mi hija también está en un colegio bilingüe. Entonces, ah, a veces me toca estarle ayudando y, y 
y explicándole y algunas cosas, enseñándoselas para que ella okay. lo pueda entender. Oh, qué, qué bien, porque igual se van ayudando. So you're helping each other. Ok, ok. So, um, de, de este módulo, eh, ¿siente que necesita reforzar algo a su part? A I mí, mean, sí. creo que hasta ahorita se comunica. Eh, lo que pasa es que como cada módulo, vamos la like, little by little, pero ¿hay algo que quiera reforzar? Like, or to double check or check? No, eh, sí, de este módulo. Al principio, cuando empezamos a ver, fue el primer tema que sí me confundió bastante. Creo que yo lo, lo tomé, lo del how much y el how many. Ah, ok. Ajá, eso al principio sí me confundió bastante porque cuando nos envió la, la actividad, lo hice todo otra vez. Uh, ok. Entonces me salieron prácticamente todas malas. Ah, porque lo hice al revés. Si gusta, revisémoslo. Let's take a look at that. Eh, quizás la clave con el how much and how many no es que, conf, eh, no es que, you know, sea, oh, wait, wait, kind of, es que creo que es confuso porque de repente se nos va como cuál es con cuál, right? So, cuál uh -huh. es para contables y cuál es el no contable. Creo que esa es como la parte de la like, confusion. confusion. So, how much is para uncountable, que son los líquidos, right? Cosas que no se pluralizan. Y el how many es para countable o palabras que sí puedo pluralizar, like one, two, three, four. So, eh, hagamos preguntas. Ayúdenme con las preguntas. So, las preguntas siempre van a ser como how much or how many. Y luego ve el objeto, right? Like, how much sugar? How many pairs of shoes? How many books? How many pairs of glasses? Eh, y luego podemos agregar, do you? Como, ¿cuántos tienes? Do you have? ¿Cuántos compras? Do you buy? ¿Cuántos vendes? Do you sell? Entonces, acá solamente le vamos agregando el verbo. We just add the verb right here. So, ayúdenme con preguntas. Vamos, you know, creando las preguntas y practicando de unas palabras. Like, how much or how many? How much? Okay. Hablamos mm. de líquidos para hacerlo más fácil. Ajá, sí. Comencemos con líquidos. Ajá. Identificamos um, la primera. Uh -huh. How much water do you drink? Ajá, exacto. So, Ajá, uh -huh. so. How much water do you drink per day? Okay, sounds good. And what about if I want to ask about a purses, for example? Like a purse? Como una, eh, una billetera or una cartera de manos, so a purse? Purse is a uh, cartera de mano. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many? Okay. So how many? How many first do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. So como utilizo how many y no sé cuántas son, eh, siempre voy a pluralizarla. Como mm -hmm. how many books, how many people, how many children, how many students, normalmente se pluraliza. So how many persons eh, do you have? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, pretty much, esa es como la idea de estos. Now, if I ask you, for example, a, how many calls do you receive in a day? How many? How many calls? How many phone calls oh, do you uh, receive in a day? Two or three. Okay. What about tickets? Do you receive any tickets? Yes. How many tickets do you receive? <laughs> I receive um, 100. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. Um, so, si quiero preguntarle cuántas horas trabaja, eh, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Uh, how much time do you work? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, makes sense. Yes, sir. So how much time do? Uy, 
do you work? Ok, yes. Now, ¿de qué otra forma puedo eh, preguntarle eso utilizando how many? Eso está bien. How, how, many, how much time how do you work? How many hours? Yes, exactly. How many hours? Do you work? So, how many hours do you work a day? How many hours do you work, Ivan? Eight hours. Ah, okay. I work eight hours. Over, over. Yeah, super bien. No, si las puede armar, mis. Ya, yeah, you're <laughs> como maiden. Creo no, que esta que... solo fue la confusión. Oh, sí, ajá, claro. es que más fue eso, fue la confusión en la, primer, en la primera actividad y ya luego pues con los otros ejercicios que fuimos haciendo, sí, sí ya me fui como que enfocando más, pero siento que sí existe la, la, la duda, ¿verdad? No es así como que tan seguro de que si voy y hago la pregunta, sí sé que la voy a hacer con la con no, la correcta. Sí es, no, estas están súper bien. Eh, déjenme buscarle eh, o déjenme ver si encuentro algún ejercicio o le puedo crear un ejercicio eh, para que practiquemos adicionalmente como, un la, como el que hicimos en clase, right? Eh, uh -huh. Solo para que practiquemos un poquito más y ya se sienta más, más cómoda with this thing. But creo que I think you handle it. De hecho, la estructura de preguntas la maneja, so you handle it. Uh -huh. Solo es quizás como de reforzarlo un poquito, right? Déjame Ajá, buscarlo sí. y se lo comparto en el grupo. No, se lo voy a compartir personal. I'm sorry, yo tengo una mente súper, súper mala. Eh, se me olvida, pero ahorita mis... Eh, está en el grupo, ¿verdad? You're in the group. Sí. sí, sí. Eh, ¿Cuáles son los primeros números de su, número, de su teléfono? 7729. 8688 es el... No le encuentro. A ver, mi favor, escriba, escríbame hola. <laughs> so right hi. Because I don't find you. <laughs> right, right, just hi, dear. Hi, something, and, and yo le envío el ejercicio. Let me, let me look for it and, and I'll send it to you. Ok, um, so, ya se lo busco en el sandwich. All right, Thank Miss. You. So, gracias, ya le robé tiempo <laughs> de su trabajo, de su shift. But thank you so much. Solamente entonces le voy a mandar este ejercicio para que reforcemos. Y si hay algo más, let me know para poder eh, ver de qué manera, you know. Um, we help you improve faster. Sí. Uh, le mandé un mensaje, no sé si le llegué. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Bueno, ahorita ya se, tenía, lo, ya se lo busco y se lo envío. Gracias, sí, tenía, es que tengo, dígame. Tenía otra pregunta. Es que estaba haciendo la, las actividades en, en la plataforma, pero hay una. Que, no, no sé si yo no escuché en ese, ese día que estaban viendo ese tema, pero hay una que no me agarra. No, es de la tarea nueve. No, no lo hemos revisado. Eh, ¿de, qué, ¿De qué lección es? Es la de la lección de la unidad 2, la, la tarea 9. How y es la pregunta. I would like to. Sí. A ver si la revisamos. Eh, lo que sucede con ese ejercicio es que por alguna razón en la respuesta no aparece would like. Entonces, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregarle la parte de would like to. Déjenme ver cuál era. No le agarra la, la respuesta. De todas. No, solo, solo una, solo la tres. Ok. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tiene el número 3 o qué ha escrito? ¿Se recuerda? Eh, sí, tengo como Would you like to buy there again? Would you like to buy there again? Okay. Would you like to buy there again? Y le está poniendo he. 
see, let's say, when the, would he like to buy there again? The person mayúscula, the person okay. <laughs> No, es que no es una pregunta, es una oración. Entonces, intentemos con, eh, solo cambia el orden, en vez de would, primero ponga he would. He would like to ah, buy sí, there como, again. Como así aparecía ahí, creo que es bueno. Sí, creo que eh, sí, tiene razón. You are right. Eso es uh -huh. right. That is wrong. Le voy a tomar una picture para enviárselo a soporte. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene razón. Shooting. Sí, ahí sí. Sí, verdad. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. so, uh, ah, sí, tiene razón. Aparece Wood primero. Ok, so let me report it. Because, uh -huh, because si está un poquito mal. En, vaya, pero ya le, ya le parece. So that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah. Okay. So thank yeah. you so much. Let me know si otro ejercicio que le, no le está funcionando. Tómale captura, envíemelo. Mm -hmm. We can solve it. All right. Thank you. Okay. Que descanse, Miss. Have a good night. Gracias. Bye. 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 Thank you.